if you love sky gazing, you must have observed that the moon is constantly changing its appearance, in that it glows in different places at different times. Let's find out what causes this behavior. Although the moon is the brightest and largest celestial object in our night sky, it doesn't actually shine with its own light. It simply reflects light from the sun. Just like daytime here on Earth, the sun illuminates the moon. And because it's a sphere and it orbits around the Earth, the way we see it changes with time. And that what causes its phases. The cycle of lunar phases begins with new moon. At new moon, the moon appears completely dark because it's between the Earth and the sun. So we end up facing the side of it that's in full shadow. After a few days, once the moon has moved along in its orbit, we can begin to see some of its lit up side from Earth. What we see now is just a thin slice of light called a crescent. We call it a waxing crescent. The crescent moon will grow a little thicker every night until it becomes half full and the moon reaches its next phase, first quarter. We call it a first quarter because the moon now is one quarter of the way through its cycle. As the days pass, the illuminated parts continue to grow and the moon enters its next phase, waxing gibbous. Just a few days and we're gonna be able to witness the biggest, brightest and most beautiful phase, a full moon. At full moon, the moon is halfway through its orbit around the Earth. As the days pass, the moon enters the waning process and its illuminated part starts to shrink, shrinking from a waning gibbous to another half moon called third or last quarter to a waning crescent and continues to shrink until it vanishes completely into the next new moon. The moon completes its cycle in 29 days and a half for about a month. That's where the idea of month came from. If you know now why the moon looks different every night, next time you look up at the sky, try to identify which phase of the moon you're seeing.